Yo, what's up fellow content creators and streamers today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make thumbnails for your youtube videos and without further ado let's get into it for this tutorial i am going to be using photoshop there's many ways on how to get photoshop but i can't really say how but trust me there is many ways so it's actually funny i'm gonna be actually making a thumbnail for my friend emma you can go check her stuff out in the description so first off you're going to need two things one your face obviously and two whatever you want as the background so she's actually playing icebox custom games so i just found this little picture online so the first thing i do is i make a new project and i do 1600 by 900 and then the resolution to 300 the reason why i do 900p is because it's still considered hd quality so her 1080p picture if i need to scale it up more i'll be able to have decent quality on the final product so what i would do next is cut out the image of you obviously using the pen tool so i'm just going to start cutting around her and once i'm finished i will cut to where she is fully cut out oh and also make sure when you do your image to have good lighting it will help your thumbnail look way better once you're at the end make sure you click on where you started the pen tool and then it'll do the whole selection right click make selection make sure this is set to zero and then click ok and then usually i just do Control c Control v and now i have a cut out of her now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag her into the thumbnail i'm actually going to bring her to the right side of the screen and angle her some so she's more facing up something like this now i'm going to drag the background into the thumbnail since she's on the right side i'm going to put the gun on the left side just like so what i'm going to do next is make a layer style so you won't be able to really see any of the crappy cutouts this is really just your preference but all i'm going to do is add a inner glow and then my drop shadow is going to be size 40 and spread is going to be at nine so now i'm going to fix up the edging of her and make sure that there's no issues so for example here her cheekbone is a little squarish so i'm going to try to round it out more like so um just whatever you see on you or on whoever you're doing just fix up that outer edge of them and make sure that make sure that there's nothing too scuffed just make sure you don't have any hard corners on your on you and you should be good to go so now since i fixed up her outline i'm now going to brighten her up and make her more colorful because in thumbnails you usually want to make sure that the the thumbnail is colorful and pops out from the other thumbnails that you see on youtube so the first thing i'm going to add is curves and then create a clipping mask over her i'm simply going to move this square backwards like this and you'll see she's already more brightened Another thing I usually like to do is add a little bit of exposure, obviously creating a clipping mask, and add a very little amount of exposure. So once you brighten yourself up, the next step I do is add text. So for text, you only want to add a couple words. You don't want to make a whole paragraph, obviously. Just a couple words that describe the video. So her video, for example, was custom matches. So all I'm going to do is add some text, probably gonna say custom match madness or something along those lines so i'm gonna make three text layers i'm gonna put one that says custom one that says match and then one that says madness and obviously you can use any font you like but for this video i'm gonna be using the peach sands and for madness i'm actually being using a different font just so so madness can actually pop out from the thumbnail rather than just using the same font once you have your text, I would do personally is add a layer style on it just to make it pop more. So I'm actually going to add a gradient overlay just to make it look better in my opinion compared to just straight up red. What I'm going to do actually is copy the same layer style. All I have to do is right click and click copy layer style right here. And then I'm going to paste it on these other two on these other two texts so I don't really have to do that much work. I think for match I'm just going to leave white but for custom I think I'm going to give it more of a blue so we can have contrasting colors and you know America. I would make sure that the drop shadow that you put on your text doesn't go over your other text to have all these colors pop as much as possible. What I would do next is grab your paintbrush, set it to black. If you see any of the background go through the drop shadow like so, I would just personally fill it in on a new layer just so we can have this straight up darkness 
in between the text it will just look cleaner double click on this and you can actually warp your text up here at the top if you want to get spicy which i think i just want to do a simple rise right here so i added rise to custom and match but for madness i think i'm going to change it up and give it a little twist it's literally called twist so now that your font is complete i would try to make it as much as big as possible so people can easily read it on youtube so what i'm going to do actually is add a solid color on her right side because I honestly think that this part of the game doesn't really need to be shown. So all I'm going to do is add a new layer, use the rectangular marquee tool, simply make a box like so, right click, fill, and then just do a simple white. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a darker white. So the thumbnail is almost complete. The only other thing I do usually to spice up the thumbnail a little bit more is I merge all the layers together. I click on hue and saturation. I bring up the saturation to about 10 to 15 and then i add only one lightness so now as you can see the thumbnail gets more colorful simply merge that down and then the final thing i do is i go to sharpen and then i click on smart sharpen this will make your thumbnail a little bit sharper and crispier but i usually don't add a crazy amount of sharpness because then it'll just look bad so these are my settings if you just want to copy these and that's pretty much it the thumbnail is done good luck on your guys' thumbnails and i'll see you guys later peace out